Hi, I'm Chloe Davis and welcome to the Art and Design Newscast. We're going to begin today with our amazing cartooning department, which exhibited their work at New York Comic Con last month at the Javits Center. Our students showcased and sold their very own work in the corner booth, which was situated at the center of the convention and was extremely well received. Thank you to Mr. Pasetsky, Mr. Lassen, Mr. Newman, and Mr. Lee for spearheading the event and congratulations to the students. Here's some photos from the event and some interviews with the students who exhibited. How did it feel to have your students exhibit art at Comic-Con? It was great to have the students exhibit their artwork at Comic-Con. It gave them like a real professional uh, experience that they might not have had any other place. In fact, Comic-Con is possibly the most important or most relevant um, experience on the East Coast that they can have. Really the best part is the progression that we see of the students. You know, we get them sophomore year and we building them up with inking skills, character design skills and everything to uh, get them to be the professionals that they are when they get to senior year. So tell us about your experience at Comic-Con. Uh, my experience at Comic-Con was incredible. I was able to sell hundreds of stickers and prints that I made myself and I was able to really interact with uh, customers in a way that I was never able to before. And the experience for Comic-Con, at least for me, was actually the process. I never really had to deal with making so many stickers by hand or making buttons and t-shirts. And just seeing people buy it and want my stuff was something that I don't think I would have ever had the insight for without this opportunity. We would like to welcome our new principal, Mr. Ray Segura. We conducted an interview with the principal earlier in the week. Here's a portion of the interview. Good afternoon. My name is Maximilian Ray Sugiura, interim acting principal at the High School of Art and Design. Um, the reason why I became a principal was after spending um, 12 years in the Department of Education as a teacher and assistant principal, I felt that I had an opportunity uh, to support and engage a larger population of young artists um, at this school and when the opportunity presented itself I couldn't say no and I'm so happy that I did because the community is incredible. Um, the students are incredibly intelligent and their capacity is uh, far beyond anything I could have expected. In terms of my vision for the school, the school is uh, one where students should be seen for who they are and be allowed to tell their story I think that through engaging learning experiences in arts and core classes, we'll be allowed to prepare students better for internships outside of the classroom, and then ultimately for university experiences, where they feel that their intellect was validated by the high level of instruction that took place at Art and Design, and they can look back and say, these were some of the best years of our lives. The school hosted its annual drawathon on November 16th. Hundreds of students, artists, and staff came together to create beautiful works of art and share their talent with others. Here is some footage from the event. And now, for the Art and Design Sports Minute. And now, some quick announcements. If you enjoyed this newscast, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Simply go to youtube.com and search up Art and Design Newscast to view this episode and past episodes from the year. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you can be notified when we upload new content. Click the share button down below and send this to your friends and family on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's it for this newscast. We'll see you next month.